Hey what's going on guys, so in today's video I'm going to show you guys how I sprayed uh, primer on this vehicle, my project car, 66 Mercury part plane if you guys were wondering. Um, I'm just going to be doing the doors, the fenders, the roof and the trunk, just bodied work panels trying to get those covered up and prepared or and protected for the season. Uh, first step I did is after I was all sanded down for paint, I got it in I think 180 grit with a DA. I blew everything down and then I also went with an air gun and then I hit it with a wax and grease remover and let that flash over. After that I took time to mask the windows properly. I used a three quarter, half inch to three quarter yellow 3M tape first just to outline everything. Then I got, took my masking paper which is just regular paper in this case. Uh, I'm going to probably invest in some real paper but that's in the future. Then I used a two inch yellow tape on that just to stick over the pre-mask areas that I did before. I covered the windows up, the bottom, I skirted the bottom. I don't think it's really necessary if I were to do this again. I would just take the wheels off and use a big sheet of cardboard and set just the stuff up there. And then if I need to detail the chassis afterwards, I'll just probably go over there with a rattle can and touch it up. So the primer of choice, I'm using Shopline primer. This is a 2K primer, that means it takes two parts. Uh, Shopline is a company made by PPG. It is not their high high end stuff. The DBCs are high end stuff. This is more of the affordable, good to go stuff. I uh, asked my parts person what she would recommend, and she recommend this stuff because the majority of the body shops in my area actually use this product, so I know it's good, it's trusted. Um, right here, I got the JP355. That is a primer. The ratio that's used in this one, I'll link everything down below for what ratios, air pressure, and stuff that's they recommend here. Shopline recommends, but this one is four parts of the primer, one part of the hardener. That's one in the middle, that JH358, and then the reducer is going to thin it down. That's a JR555, the one on the right. So it's four parts of primer, one part of hardener in two parts of reducer. You could put on one part, but you're gonna probably need a bigger gun with a bigger tip maybe, but I played it safe and went four, one, and two was the ratio that I used. All right, third and final thing here is uh, I'll list up my compressor specs right here on the screen. This is what I'm using. The compressor probably turned on about three times while using this. Um, I'm also spraying with the HVLP gun. This is with a 1.8 tip, I believe, on this one. And you can see that it's got really, really low overspray. Uh, I parked it pretty close to the neighbor's fence, got nothing on the neighbor's fence there. You can see the paper, the masking paper, has zero, little to nothing overspray, probably in the first inch past the panel. That's about it, so. I'm a big fan of these guns. I've used conventional guns in the past, the bottom feed ones, and these just tend to spray paint everywhere, so. I like these HVLP guns, um, just make sure you clean them out really, really good afterwards with the proper cleaner and break the gun down every time, but uh, turned out pretty well for me, so let us uh, let me shut up here and I'll show you guys me spraying this primer down. Alright, to any professionals, peep my technique, tell me what I'm doing wrong, I'm definitely probably doing something wrong, but put it on one big ass heavy coat. I did uh, just problem spots beforehand, just uh, once I had body work on I laid down a coat earlier. Then I'm just laying one big ass heavy coat on top of everything, killing this fender out and then moving over to the door after I'm done this section. I just want to kind of get this whole side all gray, making sure I'm getting the bottom side all well done too so paint covers everywhere. Primer should I say covers everywhere. That way I'm able to let this uh, build up high and then that way I can knock it down with a black sanding afterwards. 